Microsoft System Center Service Manager, you have the ability to create incidents, problems, service requests, change requests, and release requests. You also have the ability to assign these respective work items to yourself, another analyst, or another support group within the organization. The challenge lies within managing these respective work items when they're directly assigned to you or a support group that you're a member of. As an example, if I want to take a look at all service requests directly assigned to me, I can move into the service request domain, take a look at all those service requests that are assigned to me. If I want to take a look at all problems directly assigned to me, I can move into the problem management domain and take a look at all problems directly assigned to me. Just like service request and problem management, if I want to take a look at all incidents directly assigned to me, I can move into the incident management domain, take a look at all incidents directly assigned to myself. Now, although within each respective domain, I have the ability to see work items directly assigned to myself, I do not have visibility of work items assigned to my associated support groups, as service manager does not have the ability to associate analysts to support groups. As a member of the service desk team, if I want to take a look at all service desk incidents directly assigned to that support group, I have the ability to move into another view that shows me all those service desk open incidents. You can see here that it's very challenging to manage work items as they're assigned to a specific analyst or a respective support group as you have to move between many domains to manage those day-to-day -day activities as well as because service manager does not have an association between analyst and support group. Syerson has developed a solution to solve this challenge. With the MyActive Work Items app from Syerson, we now provide it with a single view that gives you visibility to all incidents, problems, service requests, change requests, release records, and all activities directly assigned to yourself. We've also exposed the ability to associate an analyst to a support group. What this allows an analyst is greater visibility to work items that are directly assigned to themselves, as well as their associated support groups. As an example, I'm currently logged in as Scott Watkins, and Scott has visibility to all of his work items that are directly assigned to him. However, because he's a member of the desktop team and the service desk team, he's given visibility into those work items that are assigned to his associated support group, even though they're not directly assigned to himself. Now, like with any view in Microsoft Service Manager, the ability to view data is extremely important, but the ability to manage export and edit that data is also very key. We've been able to give that ability within this particular app and can highlight that by illustrating a few features. First off, you're able to at any point filter for data within the actual view. As an example, if I want to take a look at all work items with an affected user of Allison, I can quickly type the word Allison and see a list of those filtered work items. I also have the ability to move columns around sort by any column, and at any point I can right click and group by any column within the view. As an example, I can group by category, support group, affected user, and type. At any point here, I can also export this data to CSV, which allows me for me to manage that data within Excel. Now the view itself allows for you to perform tasks against each respective work item. I can perform those tasks by right-clicking in any point within the actual view. As an example, if I want to right-click incident to perform some tasks, I have the ability to edit, perform a quick edit, which is a smaller form that allows you to edit title, category, description, comment, and make that private. I can assign it to myself. I can assign it to a list of filtered analysts, a list presented to you with only analysts within the IT organization. I can transfer that up to another support group, or I can resolve that particular incident. Now each work item is different. So if I wanted to edit a manual activity, I have the ability to right click that manual activity and perform an edit and assign to me, assign to analysts like an incident, as well as given the ability to complete or fail that particular activity. Now review activity is completely different. So if I move over to a review activity, I'm able to right click that review activity I'm able to edit that review activity, 
but more importantly, I can approve or reject that review activity and see also a list of those reviewers associated with that review activity. We've also cleaned up the preview panes. We really believe that the preview panes is an opportunity to be able to see data, manage data, without having to actually move into a work item. As an example, if I move over to IR1831, I can take a look at the new preview pane for the incident form. It's very nice, it's very clean, it's very tight, and it shows you the data that's really important to making educated decisions against that particular incident. However, we've also exposed the ability to see some other items within the actual work items. As an example for an incident, I can see the attachments associated with that incident. I also have the ability to remove any attachments from the preview pane. And if the customer provided me with an attachment that I want to throw into this incident, I can simply drag and drop that attachment to the preview pane and it associates it with the incident. Now this behavior is available for any work item within the actual app. We didn't stop there though. We know that different processes have different supporting activities that you need to have visibility into. So as an example, I can go into CR2459 and that will show me a preview pane for that change request. I can also see a list of activities by going to the activities section, the order of that activities, the current status of each respective activity, and depending on the activity in question, I can right-click that activity from the preview pane and perform tasks against that particular activity. You no longer have to double-click into a work item and move to the activities tab to give them complete visibility into the activities associated with the process. Now we also know that analysts create work items on a day in and day out basis. What we wanted to do within the actual app is be able to create a task section that allows for you to create any work item. You notice here that I'm able to create incidents, problems, service requests, change requests, and release records without having to move in and out of the other domains within the work item section. You can see here how Cyrusen has created an app that allows for you to have a single view manage all associated work items directly assigned to yourself or your support groups, and be given the ability to manage, edit, and control that data on a day-in and day-out basis without ever having to leave this single view.